So we are going to roast Anthony on his uh, course plus his training. And now, of course, you have to do better than the $35,000 personal training, which requires you to have $200,000 in cash as well to buy inventory, I guess. And now he's moved on to something even bigger and bolder, franchising. <laughs> but one thing I give him credit for is he absolutely goes to the moon. I, I am shocked that he's not into crypto. Uh, he would be very successful in the crypto but anyway now we're going to talk about the great watch market dealers why would you want to be a great watch market dealer today the market is down the competition is up and if a hundred people sign for the course and let's say they all become great market watch dealers you have just made a hundred new competitors for your business teaching them the quote secrets of your business the main problem i find with uh this idea of his is i don't think he will execute it we have a long history of him having good ideas but not executing the idea uh, we can talk about the blackout we can talk about the facebook group we can talk about even the recent coaching clients that we have not heard anything from Anthony in this video says he had 10 coaching clients, one out of the 10 Z, he calls them successful. But he's only successful because Anthony moved to his location just kind of randomly. And he is the operation manager of, I think they don't even have a security guard anymore. It's literally a few salespeople, most of them new, one of them potentially also a felon because that's who you want to buy these watches from guys uh liz darby Brian. <laughs> this isn't a successful operation i made another video about franchising if you want to take a look uh today and a franchise has to be bulletproof it has to be amazingly easy to run with the right this is not franchising for one reason and one so i'm a franchise attorney i do this Probably, I do a franchise case maybe once a year. I did a very big one when I was an intern. I, I wrote all the operations. I, I did everything about that one. It was the coupon book for, you know, how schools used to sell these giant coupon books? Well, the coupon book became a online card. So it became like a card where you it was a QV code and everything. And you had a, a password you type in. It's just like a credit card. And then you could download the coupons and you can print the coupons as you went. So instead of carrying a giant book, these students would sell these cards. This was a giant franchise back in the day and made millions, if not tens of millions of dollars for the owner. And I wrote the operation manual. I wrote all the things to do to franchise. That was my first franchise case. Uh, that was my last, no, second year, my second, after my second two hour year of law school. Now back to the coaching and the different levels of coaching. You got the $2,500 course, which has 10 parts, possibly 11th part. I doubt he even finishes part one. Uh, a person who already paid asked him in a comment and he wasn't, and you know he already paid because he wasn't like as rude to this individual. Hey, you know, um, I paid already. Is there a link to the course? And he said, no, course is not made. How are you going to sell something, pre-sell it? I mean, because right now, like, you should have made it already because you pre-sold it, right? There was this March 15th special and so on, and then you moved the date back. It's very... It doesn't strike... Anthony Farrar does not strike me as a academic, and that's what you need when you're making a course. You need somebody to write the course, you need somebody to make the videos. You need somebody to work really hard. I mean, this is a 80-hour week a job for one person. And you need someone with the knowledge to put it all together, make PowerPoints, make presentations. Uh, $2,500 to give you an idea of what other courses you can get. I learned to code on something called Team Treehouse for $25 a month. After a year, it taught me how to code my own website. So I pay $25 a month. I think I paid the year program, so it's probably even cheaper. 
pay $300 or less to learn how to code. And if you know how to code, you're at least going to make $100,000 in America. Anthony is charging a hundred times that amount for just, you know, for what? For the personal coaching? For the for what? I mean, I don't understand what you actually gain. And at the end of the day, like, he's not going to help you out because he doesn't know how to do it. When you franchise something, you're saying that, hey, my business is making this much profit a year. My business is selling this much revenue. This is sustainable. The gray market is not sustainable. There's too many people in the gray market. There's not enough used watches to sell. And when you look at like Wolves of Wall Street, you look at Grand Cowboy, you look at all these Roman, they're all just selling the same watches on the same what uh, WhatsApp groups, right? Like, it's, it's kind of a ridiculous model if you think about it because it's like one post person posts a watch. Everyone pretends they have the watch in hand. They try to sell it for as much as they can, and then they mazah, and then they send the watch. Well, there's, in the future, I think there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way to handle this because this is a very stupid thing that's happening. And it, it's incredibly stupid. So one person who doesn't have the watch sells it to another dealer who doesn't have the watch. That another dealer sells it to another dealer who doesn't have a watch. And that dealer eventually sells to end consumer. Everyone taking a few thousand dollars along the way. Well, once the end consumer gets smarter and there's a better system, and I think, you know, as technology becomes better, there's got to be a way for the the watch dealer to sell direct to the consumer in a protected and safe way. So anyway, my point is very simple. The course for 2500 is not worth it. The personal coaching at 35000 and then you bring 2000 200000 extra dollars, which I'm sure goes to inventory, and then you stay in one of the most expensive cities to live in, Los Angeles. So you gotta make sure you can afford to stay in that, you know, renting a apartment for five thousand dollars a month, one year lease. We know how leases are with Anthony, and you have to hope this guy's gonna, uh, after you are done paying him, that he's gonna still be interested in teaching you. So, Anthony is not an academic. He did not go to college. He did not go to law school. He did not go to grad school. He didn't. He doesn't read books. The way that he reads a book is he reads the, I mean, we have seen him in 75 hard. And since that time, we haven't seen him pick up a book. He reads the cover of the book. And, and this is Anthony's words, not mine. And then he'll read interesting titles. Whatever title interests him, he'll just skip to that title. This is going to be a disaster. You know, like, I, I don't want to say not everyone can teach. No, teaching is somewhat of a skill that you have to acquire via practice or, you know, mimicking. I just don't think somebody who has not taken any college courses, someone who has not taken any business courses outside of Grant Cardone, and that's very, we're, we're using that term very loosely, is fit to teach at a $35,000 level, which is the basically the tuition of a college. Essentially, you're paying to go to the college of timepiece gentlemen. Yikes. Big yikes. Uh, highly do not recommend. Uh, if you are taking this course, <laughs> let me know. I would be interested to know uh, where you end up in a year. Probably not in the exact place that you may think you are <laughs> going to end up with. Maybe a different type of business model. Bye, <laughs> guys. Leave me a comment below what you guys think about this. Bye.